everyone welcome to vlog two so that video was from church this morning um it was three hours it was a three hour service and it was so loud it was so loud my head hurts and i'm gonna take a nap i will not be going back to that church but i do have a church service tonight at 7 p.m with that girl from last vlog that i like made friends with so i'm kind of nervous but it'll be good and then tomorrow's my first day of orientation I'm so nervous, so I'll check back with you guys then. But here's a little fit outfit. I had, I had my Converse on, and these tights are polka dot. So I'm feeling super fun. Okay, I'll see you guys. Later. Hello everyone, so I went to church last night and I'm, I'm probably going to join a small group there. I like actually met a good group of girls, like a, probably like four. So I'm starting to make friends, which is great. I just got done the first day of orientation. Bruh. It is literally like all for like nurses and aides and stuff. So I'm just sitting there like, I don't need to know any of this. I don't, I don't. Hi vlog, I just finished my second day and this is the view, it's literally gorgeous. Hi vlog, I'm sitting here in rush hour traffic to get to the third day of orientation. I went to the gym at 6 a.m. yesterday and I've been planning to do that for the rest of the week because orientation's at 8.30 and like when I get out at like 5, 5.30, I'm so hungry, I can't go to the gym, can't, like I'm just trying to get a schedule, but then next week my schedule's gonna change because it's like, actually gonna be a music therapy schedule anyway i slept through that and i'm just like feel like i'm sh really struggling to get a schedule but it just is gonna keep changing so that's probably why i feel so unsteady because there's no like steady thing i'm cpr certified did i say that already i don't know i got cpr certified yesterday this rush hour traffic is insane so i will be going to work probably i'm gonna choose to go around like 7 a.m which I would still have to wake up at 6 a.m. for. Yeah. Uh, orientation is so... <laughs> okay, bye. Hi, vlog. I just got here, and I'm early, but in case you want to know how horrible traffic is, it made a 15-minute trip half an hour. It literally doubled the time, and it did that two days ago, too. So I just cannot leave at this time, which means I'm probably going to have to wake up at 6, like I already said, but that's actually crazy. But... I'm here. Pretty. Hi vlog. It is Thursday after orientation. Got out early. That's why it's still light outside. Yay. Um, so that's good. And I got out early yesterday too. But I was in a really sad mood yesterday because I was like, wow, I'm so alone and I literally do nothing but stay in my room, which is true. So I'm gonna explore the neighborhood because it's not super freezing right now. It's like cold, but I'm not gonna die. Um, so I just got out of orientation and we talked about verbal de-escalation and tomorrow we're doing physical de-escalation, de which is like, you know, like restraints and stuff if they like, patients are trying to hurt you or themselves or whatever. Um, and I'm so energized. Like, I'm so happy, which everyone's going to think I'm crazy unless you're my type of person, which is thriving in absolute chaos and like, I don't know, we, like, did things today, like, we did situations, like, we acted out, like, like, someone played the patient, you played the person trying to calm them down, like, what are these things to do? I'm, like, I don't know why, I don't know, I just am feeling so much confirmation that working in a behavioral hospital is gonna be good for me. Like, I thrive in chaos, and... It is chaotic, and, like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so happy right now. I slept well last night. I don't know. I just, and, apparently, like, Three Rivers, where I'm interning. Dude, look at these bags. I gotta do something about that. Um, apparently, where I'm interning has places in Europe. In England. I can do music therapy there. All my wheels are turning. I don't know. 
And one of my coworkers, she's a mental health tech. She said she'd go to church with me this Sunday with her daughter. So I'm super excited about that. So yeah, I don't know. I'm having a good day. We'll see if that continues. Hi guys, it is late Friday night. Last video was Thursday when I was saying it's going to be a good day. It wasn't. Um, I did write a song at the park last night. Like, I tried to do something. I did cry myself to sleep. But that's good. I needed a good cry. Because I haven't cried since I moved here and I felt it. I was like, I need to cry. Because it's so overwhelming. But, like, I was so, like, numb, kind of. It all came out last night. But my last day of orientation was today, and I went to the gym after, and then um, the girl who I met at the coffee shop texted me and was like, oh, um, the bonfire tonight is not canceled, there's just not going to be fire, so we're all just going to hang out, and I was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot that there was supposed to be bonfire, so I just got back from that church, and... Um, I met a couple other people, but I did that. And it was, it was good. I'm glad I did it. Getting myself out of my comfort zone. So, good night. I will see you guys maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. Hi, everyone. Um, I think I'm going to go to a market by myself downtown. And then find a coffee shop and journal and read and eat some breakfast. Um, it's Saturday. And I invited this woman from my gym because she also just moved here. She was like, I don't have any friends either. Like, we can hang out. But then she texted me this morning and she was like, I don't have any clothes to be outside for a long period of time because it's, like, really cold. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Like, it was super last minute. So I wasn't, like, I didn't even know if we were going to go. So I was just sitting in my bed and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to go. And then I was like, no, I can go by myself. It's not weird. I'm, like, trying to figure out, I don't know, like, I'm just, you know, when you're in your 20s and you realize, like, you have been codependent your whole life because you've been the baby of the family and you've done everything with your friends and now you are scared to do anything by yourself, that's my dilemma. But I can go do this by myself and I'm excited to, which is already showing me that, like, I'm having some good character development by being alone. So, here's the fit. I look adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I just love this little, okay. My room's a disaster. I'm also gonna clean it today or tomorrow. Just with my Converse. <sighs> okay, bye. It is really cold. Um, I don't know if you can hear me with the wind. Uh, I'm going back to get my jacket. It took 20 minutes to park. It is like a real city here, so. Oh, it's windy. I'm finally here. This is the city. This is like the most beautiful Starbucks I've ever seen, ever. Like, what? It's like the ones in Europe. Whoa, it's so cute. I'm walking back to my car. I read and journaled in that cute Starbucks that all those videos were about for a couple hours. Um, so that was nice. And now I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm probably gonna FaceTime my ex-roomies. <laughs> Cause I literally haven't sucked into like anyone since I moved here, to be honest. Okay. Did that in all hey. <laughs> I'll do it again. Little Oh, hey, wave. You like me or you've been around? Hi, vlog. Um, I just got back from church and it was amazing. I went to the one that I did last week on Thursday. I think that's going to be like the one I go to in Sunday mornings. Not I think. That is definitely going to be the one. I love it. The worship is amazing. And I understand why now because the pastor was like, yeah, I, I was a music major. And I was like, oh, that's why the worship is like probably the best worship I've ever heard. <laughs> like everyone can sing so well. There was a girl on the drums today. That was freaking sick. But anyway, I invited my coworker because 
she was saying like you know she grew up christian but like she has not you know like gone back really but she has a daughter she's like 12 um and she wanted to get back in i was like oh well like i found this church last week i really liked it so she came and she checked off like giving my life to christ and she was like i need a bible and and then because they were giving away free bibles and she was like I, i'm i'm getting that bible so she got two one for her and one for her daughter and i was literally so happy i was like i'm so happy you came and she was like i needed that and i was like praise the lord oh it made me want to cry um so that's really awesome and anyway so yeah i i went to that church and i was like do you guys have like a young adults group because i know it's on tuesdays but like they haven't gone back to me and they were like oh yeah it starts in february and i was like dang it so i have to wait two more weeks to make friends but whatever um they're so nice there like so many people came up to me and said hi so well not really actually no one came up to me i came up to them to ask questions and then they were like super sweet so yeah so i just did that super happy um i'm now going grocery shopping in target because i need some stuff other than groceries as well um and then i'm gonna like today i think is gonna be my reset day like sundays are gonna be my reset because like my room and my bathroom are messy um and i need to cook lunch and dinners for the week so i'm gonna do a lot of cooking and cleaning today but it was a really good morning good morning cute little fit check for number two day number two hello vlog i'm at work it's my second day it's tuesday like i said um in the last video um so my first day of work was awesome i finally was like observing music therapy and i observed like a rec therapy session i had to do some paperwork still which sucked but i missed observing and being in music therapy and around music therapists um it was really really awesome and i'm so excited i painted my nails first of all i'm so excited because like it's so different than what i'm used to so i'm just like really excited to learn but this week's observing a bunch of things next week is observing like solely music therapy so today i'm observing an inpatient group it's like three hours um yeah so we're doing that stuff today but it was really awesome and then i had a two-hour gym session yesterday because like i basically had a free training session from this like really nice guy at the gym um he's a trainer there and his like person didn't show and he was like i'll just tell you i'll tell you what to do and i was like thank thank you so i was there for like two hours um, but I hip thrusted 320, like, 10 times, so, kind of impressive, but I digress. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for my second day of work. Hi vlog, we have a lot to catch up on. So today is Wednesday. Um, yesterday I observed two non-music therapy groups. It was a in, no, it was an outpatient counseling group and then, um, a social work group. It was a hectic day. There was a fight situation right next to me, um, but it was a good day. Um, I know those things are going to happen, and I handled it well. It, like, didn't even really affect me, so I'm super happy about that. Um, and then I went to the gym, got home, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go, because I forgot, I had to go to, at my church, there's, like, a young adults group, so I got there, and it was, like, 13 people, um, got there at 7. I did not get home till 10.45 because I also had to pick up flowers for the intern because it's her last day, the other intern. Um, so yeah, I was, it's like an hour and a half group and then I was talking with, um, the group leader and this other girl for like another hour, um, which is cool. So I didn't get home till so late. I'm so tired. I'm now at work. I did not sleep enough. Um, but yeah, I had a super busy day yesterday. I like did not even have a second to breathe. Um, I'll definitely gonna, what? I'm definitely gonna go back to that small group next week. Um, and hopefully I like it enough to stay. Cause I don't know. Cause like we were just meeting each other yesterday. Um, but I think it'll be good. I really like everyone there. Um, 
And then Friday, there's apparently a worship night in downtown Columbia. Where, like, all, like, I think it's, like, mostly people. That was a horrible angle. Where, like, mostly people my age go there and just worship. So, I'm going to do that Friday. Which is really exciting. Today, I have therapy. So, I'm not going to go to the gym. Hi, vlog. Welcome to my very own desk. I'm eating breakfast right now. Um, I'm looking at some things on this binder. Um... I just printed on my work on the wrong printer multiple times because I thought it was the right printer I was printing to and I was like, why is this not printing? I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. So the person who called my supervisor was like, she's printing a bunch of stuff on our printer. <laughs> and Hi vlog. Um, I just got done with a meeting here. I didn't do anything, I just sat here. Um, I'm doing some research now for my internship, but there is a worship night tonight. Look how exhausted I look. These waking up at 6 a.m. days are not for me, to be honest. But um, there's a worship night like seven minutes away from where I live. And, like everyone from like all the churches I've been to are like talking about it. So I think it's gonna be huge, so hope it's inside because it's really cold out but I will videotape that and then I'll videotape I will record that and then I'll probably be done with this vlog this is the waiting room there's so many people here there's so many people This is the last video. Um, I just got home from the worship night and it was amazing. It was like everything I needed, seeing hundreds and hundreds of people my age just praising the Lord was amazing. Um, I cried like six times. I just had deja vu, that was super weird. Yeah, it was amazing. And I went with some friends. Um, and I like really felt like I bonded with them. Um, yeah, I'm just super happy. I'm creating community, which is awesome. And I saw a girl from the community group I went to on Tuesday. So, and we talked and I was like, you remember me? Oh my gosh. 